Hello, in this video I'm going to make stuffed cabbage. Um, it's going to be filled with minced beef. Uh, this is inspired by the Polish dish gwumpki, if I've said that correctly. Um, inspired by it, I'm not claiming this is gwumpki, so don't get all upset with me in the comments, okay? Because it's not like your bapcha makes it. I know, that's why I'm not saying it's gwumpki, but it's really nice. Um, the changes I'm going to make is I'm going to cook the meat first. So the, the beef that I've got, uh, I'm going to cook it down almost like a sort of a ragu, like a bolognese sauce. And I'm going to thicken it with the rice. And then when it's cooled, we're going to fill that into the cabbage leaves and uh, roast them in or bake them in the oven. It's, it's a wonderful dish. I, I really think you're going to like this one very much. And uh, wish me luck. All right. First job is uh, let's get chopping some onions. I'm sure you've seen me do this before if you've uh, watched any of my videos before and if you haven't and you're new, well welcome. I don't know how you managed to find my channel but if you found me don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me comments and what have you, that'll be lovely. But there we go, choppy the onion, chop some parsley, it's one of those recipes where you can add or remove the ingredients that you like most but I'm sort of creating a bit of a, like a ragu here. So that was a bit of lard that went into a hot pan followed by the minced beef, this can be done with it's pork, beef combination. I've seen recipes where they do it with turkey, chicken, lamb even. It's up to you. And every house in Poland probably does theirs a slightly different way. So there goes, that's garlic, some bay leaves in there. But the traditional method is you pre-cook the rice and you can pre-cook onions and mushrooms or whatever and things like that. And then when they're cold, you mix them in with the uncooked, the raw mince. That's the difference. And it cooks all in the pot together. But I like this method here. So in went some tomato, the wine, red wine, and a can of tomatoes. And then obviously I swill out the tomato can with some water. The liquid level, you can just keep your eye on it. it there needs to be enough liquid to cook the rice. So here's me, uh, you know, struggling a little bit. It's a very firm cabbage and they're round, which is, uh, you know, not ideal when you're sort of trying to stab at it with a... Uh, a knife like this I'm using a, a butcher's knife but you know well you want a, a strong bladed knife and take your time and be super careful please but you're trying to tunnel your way into the center you want to be able to expose the the outside edge of every leaf because this is going to go into a big pot of simmering water and that water needs to be able to sort of get in the inside of those leaves so there you go see a lovely job of tunneling that and now into the water and hopefully it will become obvious why we're doing this um, so a few minutes in I've got tongs there and I'm able to tease away the leaves but they're not really cooked yet so I'm just gonna just put them in the water but this is uh, I, I don't know I like this technique I first saw this a while ago and I thought oh, those Polish people they're quite clever really aren't they I like that and I'm sure somebody else has done this it's not just the Polish people but anyway I like the Polish people I you know I'm engaged to one yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, that's enough of my personal life. Um, the bolly, the sauce, the ragu, nice and wet still. It's had about half an hour. In with the raw long grain rice. Obviously, that's going to need at least 20 minutes or so to be cooked. And so in with putting the uh, leaves that are now soft into a bowl at the side and then easing more leaves away. And, you know, well, it's obvious, really. You're going to keep going until there's... The, no cabbage left it's just all leaves there we go so there's me putting those leaves in a bowl it looks pretty cool and as you get to the center of it you know the leaves start being all small and you know they're not going to really be any good uh, to wrap around the filling but they have a purpose they're going to be used in the pan to sort of protect the parcels so happy that the rice is ready double check the seasoning happy with that in goes the parsley it's got to cool down, obviously, so you might want to do this ahead of time, if you see what I mean, um, because you can't really do it when it's hot. Uh, that was in that jug was beef stock, that was from a stock cube, and I added the can of tomatoes to it. So here's those little bits of leaves. I'm arranging them in my like nice casserole pot here, uh, you, or oven tray, or a, a dish that you'd cook a lasagna in, that sort of dish, but you're going to have to be able to cover it for most of the cooking otherwise the, the cabbage will burn in the oven there's a sort of very thick bit there the, the 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 rib i call it you know of the cabbage which i'm just sort of i just shaved off a bit but it's not essential but you'll just find it maybe easier 
to manipulate the leaf and wrap it around the filling. So put as much filling in as you think that you'll be able to wrap to in case. Hopefully that makes sense. So I've gone over and then tuck the ends in, finish it rolling up like so. And there we have, there voila, one stuffed cabbage parcel. And now we're going to keep going. I tend to try to find the largest leaves first, the best leaves. And just keep going keep wrapping them it's it's a little bit tricky you know there's some dexterity needed and i lack very much in that department but you know just about managing that's just shaving off a little bit of that thick part of the core again hopefully that makes sense and you'll find as you keep going the leaves are smaller it's harder to encase them so i like to keep another little bit of let uh, lettuce sorry of cabbage leaf there to help me complete that parcel yeah, and I am struggling there, but you know they they don't have to be perfect. They're gonna look great. They're gonna taste even better, and just keep going, keep packing in that pan. So you're gonna keep doing this uh, until you run out of either cabbage or you run out of uh, the filling or you run out of room in your pot or you choose a bigger pot. But I say not exact recipes. I did have some mixture left over. I've got more filling left over to make some more of these, and they'll be gone in no time at all so once the pan is full uh, it overgoes the the tomato and stock and then remaining little bits of leaves that go on to protect it there's a temperature i put on the screen there and i cook mine for up to about an hour it's a couple of pieces caught on the inside of the pan just put those back no one noticed uh, but they needed a bit longer and i like them to get a little bit more toasty on the top and just to let you know if you do this at lower temperature do it for longer it's going to be even better Anyway, there's me tucking into it, and well, I'm going to let you know how it tastes now. Right, stuffed cabbage. Or Gwompki. But I'm not calling it Gwompki, because <laughs> I'll get in trouble. But it's very similar. Now, let's have a go. How's this cabbage? Mm. I used to think that white cabbage was just for coleslaw, which is nice. But, you know, there's other cabbages I preferred. But... With dishes like this, and if you check on my channel not that long ago, last year, roast white cabbage, it's sensational, the flavour you get from it. When it's cooked a bit more slowly, like in the oven, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And with those flavours, they come together, they they combine, they marry. Mmm. Mmm. Wonderful dish. I absolutely love that. Coming up to autumn, so, you know, slightly colder weather, you might... Really fancy something like that. And um, that's the end of this video. Apart from me just uh, going through the uh, obligatory, if you wouldn't mind liking it and make, making a comment and sharing it and subscribing to the channel, those sorts of things. Because, uh, yeah, anyway, that makes a difference. Anyway, I will catch you again fairly soon. See you then. Bye. Ooh.